everybody. It's your boy, Soup. Not Soupy Poo, because that is still not a thing to this day. Shake my mother's soup in hand right now. Let's carry on. Just wanted to make a quick video covering two things. The first thing is why I don't play web no more. Every time I'm in Discord and I pop in someone's channel, come out of hiding, the wild Pokemon appears, I get those questions bombarded at me or thrown at me. So I'm gonna address that. And then the reason I wanted to make this video, which is about these ninja tools that I had no, something I had no clue about that I think might shock a lot of players that have been playing as long as I have, that I hope you guys knew about this and I'm just the only one that's in the dark. But if you didn't, it's kind of one of those smack your forehead moments. But uh, let me first get into the whole, like why I don't play uh, web version anymore. Uh, basically, it boils down to this. When I quit, uh, I don't know, this was a little bit after Space Time was first initiated. Um, it's what, I guess a year, maybe a year and a half ago, roughly. Um, I saw the direction the game was going, um, and I just was out in front of it and just decided that I would not be playing competitively anymore. Um, I would still log in and just check out the new ninjas, grab new ninjas if I really wanted them to be a part of my collection and so forth and so on and so on and stuff like that. So you may, if you're from S1, which is where I played as Iron Soup or Edo Soup or whatever any of my previous aliases were, a Soup Bender and all that good stuff, um, that's where you may have seen me online is me just adding to my Ninja Mind collection. Uh, but for the most part, I stopped playing the game competitively. No events, no wars, none of that stuff, no sages, none of that. Um, because the game was going in a direction I just did not agree in, agree with. The powers that be, and it's the players have some culpability in this as well. But for the most part, it's m mostly on the powers that be. And they basically made the game into a cookie cutter game. Uh, they created, uh, basically, they create these ninjas with... Uh, not a lot of forethought as to the uh, to, as to how people would utilize them. Um, so, for example, on S one, if you look at what the top players are playing, it's a variation of the same teams. Everyone pretty much runs the same thing because you can't compete unless you're running something similar to that, which is unfortunate because that again eliminates the creativity, which eliminates a lot of the fun and epic battles that you could potentially have. Like, you know, when I was, when they brought in the um, space time and you got to compete against people from other servers, I mean, those were some of the most epic battles I ever had. I'm thankful that I got a lot of those on video, um, but yeah, it was just great because a person would come with their lineup and maybe it wasn't that good or you countered it with what you had and they'd, you know, they'd figure something out. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't the case now. Everyone is just, it's the same variation of a team. And that's no fault to no one. Of, it's none of their fault uh, for the most part. But like I said, you know, it just creates an environment that doesn't allow for creativity for the most part. So that's mostly why I don't play on uh, the web version anymore. Um, the drama, people ask me about the drama and all the stuff that's always happening. You know, unfortunately, it's been, that type of drama has been on S1 since I can remember from my earlier days of playing. That has never really bothered me so much. I mean, I'm an adult, even though I know there are kids and teens in the community that play with us. And we have adults that act like those kids and things in the community. It's whatever, you know, that stuff is their stuff. You know, it's, it's their thing, not mine. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason why I left competitive play. Um, I could easily be 600K plus right now if I really wanted to. My account is sitting at 300K, uh, right at 300K. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's just not what I'm gonna waste my time and efforts into something that is not gonna be fun for me in the, in, in the end result. So mobile though, I think mobile has, is learning from those mistakes that the web has done because any ninja that becomes a staple, like for example, this Jugo, when he was released, 
he was broken. And he still kind of is broken in the right lineup. But he was really broken. And then they nerfed him. And I won't even call it real, really a nerf. It was more like a balance, like a, a needed balance. And before that balance, everyone switched to Earth Main. Everyone switched to Earth Main and was running Jugo teams, especially on my server. Um, and again, I'm speaking from my server more so than anybody else's because I only play on my server. So my perspective is from the current server that I play on. But yeah, everyone switched to Earth Mains. Um, a lot of variation of teams just went by the wayside because Jugo was just killing the game when he was released. So they nerfed Jugo. Um, and what they nerfed was this passive. So this passive basically states at the beginning of the round, he loses 99% of his health and is converted into a shield. And then as he gets attacked, each attack, he will get 2% life back based on the damage that he receives. That used to be 3%. Jugo would ramp up really quickly with that 3% life leech. Now it's 2%. The ramp up isn't as drastic, and he's actually killable now. So it was a really nice balanced nerf. Nerf. Um, but now, because of that nerf, players are going back to trying new things again. I'm starting to see water teams. I'm starting to see uh, lightning teams come back full force again. Like things are starting to balance out. So I think mobile is not going to go down that same path that web version is stuck in. I don't see how they fix that at this point. Um, other than making events, non-BP events, you know what I mean? Where it's just initiative based and you just try to come up with something a little better. I mean, that's fine and dandy, but that's like retroactively trying to fix a pop up uh, problem that, you know, essentially is not going to go anywhere. So, but that's the main reason I don't play on mobile, I mean on web, and I strictly play mobile now. Now, for the reason that I actually wanted to make this video, is like I said, these ninja tools, I've learned that outside of the benefits that you get for leveling them up on the right side, you see level 3, 6, 9, 12, and they all give you certain properties upon reaching that level, is the tool itself only is applied to a certain position. So for example, these shurukens will only, these uh, attributes are only applied to position three. See the little three under the shuruken? These kirinais are only applied to position one, four, two, and so on. And all the tools work that way. These only apply to position two, the sword is only applied to position three, so if I didn't know that when I first started playing, I would have built my team up a little different. Stacked up position one, focused him on life and maybe, you know, whatever. Build up my position two a certain way, build up my position three a certain way and so on. So now going forward, your boy's definitely gonna do that. But at first I was just leveling these up as, you know, as they needed. But now that I know that they are target specific, oh, it's about to change the game for me. Because I was curious as how people had certain positions that were just hitting way too hard. Just way too hard at the same level. But this makes sense. You focus on a certain position, like for example, Lightning Teams, they beef up their position four because Kakashi, uh, Ambu Kakashi is just a beast in that position. I mean, he's a one-hit knockout artist right now. And it makes sense. So, but yeah, that's the two things I wanted to cover. Um, we got a new patch dropping on the first, which is the release of our three-tail version of Naruto and, and its nine-tail cloak. So you definitely know your boy's copping that if it is free to play, which I, it has to be because Tencent has an audit and they're not allowing anyone to top up. So they're not making, a, making any top up events. So... This Naruto has to be available by coupon, so you know your boy's got more than enough to get him. But we're going to see. We're going to see how they release him and what they do. Hopefully, it's not some shady will or something. But until then, that'll be the next video. Be easy with your comments uh, in the comment section if you feel the need to. Don't forget, my server is now running, so go ahead and join that get all your Naruto online mobile needs 
And until then, I will catch y'all later.